Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. In a double slit experiment, the source of monochromatic red light is incident on slit S1 and S2 separated by a small distance, small d. So this is small d. And a screen is located at distance x from the slit as shown in the diagram. A pattern with the fringe spacing y is observed on the screen. So there is this fringe spacing here, which is y. And uh, um, let us see the question. Three changes are possible for this arrangement. Yeah. Three changes are possible for this arrangement. Increasing the value of x, increasing d, and using green monochromatic light instead of red. Which changes will cause a decrease in fringe spacing? So you want to decrease the fringe spacing. So first of all, my dear students, um, this is interference. And uh, what is the formula for the fringe spacing? So we know it, it to be lambda d by d, where this x is actually taken as capital D, small d is small d, and lambda is the wavelength. Now, initially, they were using red wavelength, but now they are using, they're saying that we can be using green wavelength. Let us see. And we want to decrease the fringe spacing. So if you want to decrease the fringe spacing, what could you be doing? Um, first of all, increasing the small d. Is there the option there? Yes. The point number two is correct. Increasing small d. So more is the denominator, lesser will be the spacing. And um, we want to reduce S. So wavelength should reduce and capital D should also reduce. So X should reduce. But it is saying increasing X. So this is wrong. Okay. And now we are having from red to green. So wavelength for red is the maximum in the visible pattern we know. And green would be having lesser wavelength. So it means we have reduced the wavelength if we are using shifting from red to green. So if the wavelength is decreased, spacing will definitely be decreased. And so this is also correct. So our answer will be 2 and 3 only. Hence, the answer is going to be C. So this is it, my dear students. This is how we do it. You have to remember this uh, fringe spacing formula here. And um, let me see in the data booklet. Uh, yes, the formula for the fringe spacing is given like this. So our answer will be uh, the thing that we selected. It is C. Let us... Uh, verify from the mark scheme now and yes the answer is c my dear students uh, uh, in this question i would like to tell you one more thing uh, if time permits me like in this uh, uh, data booklet for 4.4 they have given these formulas for interference this is for snell's law this is for fringe spacing this is for constructive interference but they have not given the values of n so n here is a natural number that starts from one two three four and it goes like this and um, n is also equal to zero but it is not written here i would be telling you why because like this is called the central bright fringe and otherwise this formula is very very innovative i would say like if you want to talk about the fourth bright point the fourth bright fringe so what you be, would you be doing simple n is equal to four and you have the path difference there like n is equal to four fine and uh, if you're talking about the fifth bright point so n will, n will be equal to five but in destructive interference they are giving this formula for the path difference and here is a problem they have written positive sign here i believe it should be subtraction it should be negative here like if you have plus the counter will start from zero and it will go like this so what will happen in this case if you talk about the third dark fringe okay and you won't talk about the path difference so instead of using n is equal to three you have to substitute n is equal to two why because now the counter starts from zero so n is equal to two will be the correct option but in the case of central bright in the case of bright fringes it's not the case like you talk about the third bright n is equal to three so there is a big discrepancy here, I would say, and students will get confused here. So do not get confused. Instead of this, I suggest you that you must use n minus half here so that everything will fall in place. So the path difference will be n minus half into wavelength lambda. Nothing changes. It's still the odd multiple of lambda by two. So nothing changes. The only thing is like for third dark fringe, 
in this formula n will be equal to 3 only so instead of using this one the given in the data booklet go for n minus half so if you are able to understand what I am saying please try to incorporate this thing in your mind in your preparation if you are getting confused here just leave this no worries at all okay no prestige issue <laughs> so this is the path difference okay my dear students so with this i'm now closing this thing up and um, for this question it was a very simple question the answer is c all the best bye